Hey everybody, Parker here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. If you like the sound of that, join the gang. Yes, I know, I shaved my beard. I've got a mustache. It's not staying, but it's fun for now. So bear with me. But anyway, summer is here, guys. Wedding season is upon us. It is hot. So I put together a little step-by-step -step guide for what you can be wearing to a summer wedding to be looking great, feeling confident, and still staying as comfortable as possible. But before we get to that, there is one thing that you must always remember. As a wedding guest, it is not about you. Do not try to be the main character. Avoid really bright colors, overly bold patterns. It's just really rude to the newlyweds to try to steal a bunch of attention away from them on their special day. You can still look great without having to go and try to be extremely bold. Here, let me show you. A lot of times on the actual wedding invitation, it will mention the dress code. So go check that first and foremost, just to see what clothes they're even expecting you to wear, what the style of the wedding is. Some common dress codes that we're gonna go into a little bit more detail on later are formal or black tie optional, this is the most dressy, semi-formal or dress casual, which is a little bit less, tropical or destination, which is like a beach or a lake or a barn wedding, and cocktail, which I'll explain when we get to it. If the invitation doesn't openly come out and say the dress code, just use the location to kind of get a better idea as to what's expected. When the weather is super hot, especially with high humidity, you obviously want to stay as cool as possible. Wait to start sweating until you get on the dance floor later and you're busting all kinds of moves. The best way to do this is to really consider your materials. So linen, seersucker, lightweight cotton, or a very lightweight wool are always the best choices because they're a lot more breathable and therefore you're not gonna start to overheat and really sweat throughout the whole day. By far the easiest way to determine what color to wear is to think about what time of day the wedding is happening. If it's during the daytime in the afternoon, then you wanna go with lighter colors because they're gonna keep you cooler, but also things are gonna be a little bit less formal and a lighter color is always less formal. Also keep in mind that if you do sweat a ton, maybe wear a darker color because it's gonna hide the fact that you're sweating so much as opposed to wearing like a light khaki suit that you can see all the sweat on, it's a smart move. Quick tip before we get started. I am personally not normally a big fan of wearing undershirts under a dress shirt, especially if I'm gonna be wearing a tie. I just don't think it's comfortable. You can sometimes see it through the dress shirt, but when the weather is extremely hot, wearing an undershirt is actually gonna catch some of the sweat that's coming off of your body. And believe it or not, it's actually gonna keep you from sweating even more. So. Wear one that can't be seen around the neckline. You don't wanna wear a crew neck. Go with like a tank top or a V-neck shirt under your dress shirt and it will actually help you from allowing sweat to get all the way to your outer layers. Now we're gonna run through each of those dress codes that I mentioned earlier and I'm gonna give you a quick little idea as to what I would wear. But remember, just think about it in terms of categories. Don't feel like you have to be dressing in the exact same thing that I'm wearing. Just recognize that it's a dark suit or it's a light suit or it's a colorful accessory or a darker accessory and then use the stuff that you have to create similar looking outfits. This one has been a really popular dress code for a lot of the weddings that I've been to recently. Essentially, this just means that the wedding party themselves are going to be wearing tuxedos, but you are not expected to. You're just expected to dress formally. For me, I would do something like a nice dark suit with a white dress shirt, some dark black shoes, just because I do wanna be a little bit more formal and I always find black to be more formal than brown. And then you could do a dark tie, you could do a pop of color tie, it's totally up to you and obviously we wanna match our shoes with a black belt. If you are really wanting to express yourself, that colorful tie, you could maybe throw on some colorful socks as well. That's a great way to separate yourself from everybody else without being obnoxious by wearing a super bold, loud suit that's just gonna steal attention. Also keep in mind that dark gray is always the first suit that I recommend everyone get because it's the most versatile. You can wear it with colorful shirts, you can wear it with black or brown, you can 
pretty much mix and match it in any possible way. This one is just a small step down on the formal scale. However, I always tend to err on the side of being more dressy. I'm sure you've heard the you'd rather be overdressed than underdressed idea, which I think is absolutely true because worst case scenario, you wear a tie and you realize that no one else is, so you take the tie off. Whereas if you don't wear a tie, you may feel underdressed if everyone else is. However, with semi-formal or dress casual, I don't really think you're required to wear a tie. I think a dress shirt with a suit is a perfect option. I love this dark green seersucker suit from Indochino. It's very lightweight and comfortable, so if I was gonna be outside, I'd be totally fine. And it's just a little bit more casual than if I were wearing a darker gray or something like that. But it's not so casual as a khaki or a really light color. Another move that I absolutely love in this category is going with suit separates. Throw on a pair of trousers with a darker shirt if you have one or if not, a white shirt is perfect. And then grab a blazer from a different suit that's a complementary color to what you're wearing, but it contrasts. So either do a dark pair of pants with a lighter jacket or a lighter pair of pants with a darker jacket. It's a really fun style move that's kind of very retro and 50s, but it allows you to combine things together in a way that's just a little bit less formal than wearing a full matching suit. Maybe you're lucky enough to be traveling to an exotic location for a wedding, that's awesome. If this is the case, you wanna think about staying as cool as possible, so we go back to our materials like we mentioned earlier. So we wanna do something in linen, seersucker or a really lightweight cotton. Also for a tropical style wedding, you don't need to be worried about wearing a jacket. You can if you want, if you prefer it, but keeping things extremely casual yet still nice and refined because you're gonna make sure that everything fits you. An easy go-to is a linen shirt with some linen trousers and a pair of loafers with some no-show socks. Let those ankles breathe a little bit, especially if you're gonna be on the sand for the ceremony. Roll those sleeves a couple times, unbutton a couple buttons, let that chest out. You're gonna be looking great and feeling so much more comfortable than you would be in a heavy cotton dress shirt and a full wool suit. Also, with this category, if you do have a three-piece suit, I'm a big fan of just wearing the waistcoat and the matching pants and forgetting all about the jacket, especially if you have something in a linen or a lightweight material because the, the vest just kind of adds a little something extra, but it's not as formal or as hot as it would be if you were wearing the full suit. This is one of my favorite dress codes because as far as I'm concerned, this is the newlyweds telling their guests, have fun with it. Dress in a way that you would feel comfortable going out at night in, in a cocktail environment. To me, it's okay to get a little bit more bold with my choices while still keeping the golden rule in the back of my mind that I'm not the main character, so don't go crazy. I would go with something like a pattern suit, a solid colored dress shirt, a little bit of a colorful tie, and some dress shoes. It's very easy and basic when you break it down piece by piece, but when you put it all together, it ends up looking awesome. This is a really bold suit, but it's not gonna get me in trouble because it's still fitting within the cocktail theme. If you don't have a bold suit, that's totally fine. Go with whatever's bold for you. Maybe that's a pop of color tie or some bold socks. It's totally subjective. Whatever makes you feel good, that's perfect. Honestly guys, the best thing you can do is hit up the bride or the groom or the people getting married and just ask them what is appropriate. And if you don't know them directly, ask your date or whoever it is that's connected to the wedding so that you can just have a better idea rather than just guessing. Or if you are gonna be just guessing, make sure you tone it down a little bit because trust me, I've been the guy who showed up to the wedding in the like bright, you know, khaki suit with a mustache actually and just felt so out of place. It felt like I was trying to steal the show and everyone was looking at me like, why is he doing that? And it was so embarrassing. I really, really hated the experience. So I wouldn't want anyone else to go through that. Regardless of what you're wearing, just be sure that it fits you. Get your suit tailored. It's gonna totally change the way you carry yourself and how confident you feel while you're wearing it. Really hope this step-by-step -step guide was helpful for you guys. Use those four different steps to just 
easily break it down and know what's gonna make you feel and look great at any wedding that you're attending. Send me your wedding outfit pics on Instagram. I wanna see what you guys are wearing. Also go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips, outfit ideas, all kinds of good stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.